Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, make sure you turn off the water supply to the washer. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the door boot seal in a Samsung washer. It's going to be a very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips and a flat desk drivers, a pair of pliers, and a socket wrench with a regular Phillips bead. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new door boot seal. The door boot seal flexibly connects the outer tub to the front panel, sealing the gap between them. If you notice a water puddle on the floor at the front of the washer, Check the door boot seal for tears and cuts, and replace it if needed. To get it apart, we need to open the door. All right, now I'm going to remove this spring that holds the outer boot. I'm going to peel this a little bit up, and uh, using a flat blue screwdriver, I'm going to pry this clamp off. And next, I'm going to take this uh, boot off the front lip. I'm going to tack it in. Out of the way. I'm taking out three screws that hold the door switch assembly. And it's a Phillips screwdriver I'm using. We need to remove the top panel. That's held in place with the two screws here. I'm using a Phillips screwdriver. Taking them out. Now I'm going to pull this uh, top back and I'm going to lift it off. Next, we're going to pull out the uh, dispenser drawer. And we have to push this tab and we're going to remove it completely. Next, we need to remove the three screws here that holds the uh, dispenser housing, and we're going to slide it back. Next, I'm going to free these two hoses from the dispenser housing. Now I'm going to slide this uh, dispenser housing back. So, and I put it down out of the way. Now we're going to remove this uh, control panel. We need to pull up and uh, forward those clips. So, start with a corner. And I'm going to work this out. Yeah. Now I'm going to take this uh, couple of plugs apart, press the locking tab and pull it apart. Number one and number two. I'm going to take it out. Next we're going to open this uh, drain filter door. I'm going to use the flat bicycle driver. We're going to pry this open. And next step would be pulling this little drain hose out of the clamp. And then we're going to free this housing. Uh, two clamps on the sides. Using a flat disc driver, we're going to open that tab and I'm going to pull the frame out, the housing. And the same thing on this side. And we're going to remove this housing out. All right, we're going to tilt the washer back. So I'm putting the support box here at the back. And then we're going to place it on the box. Be careful, it's heavy. I'm going to use the Phillips screwdriver and taking out the three screws that holds the front panel at the bottom. Now 
Let's place the washer on its feet. Careful, it's heavy. Support it. Next, we need to remove these four screws on the top of the uh, front panel. I'm using a uh, Phillips screwdriver. All right, now I'm going to lift this uh, front panel up slightly and then remove it. Let's open the door and uh, I suggest you to put the gloves on for this particular operation. I'm grabbing that uh, front panel from the side with one hand and holding the top brace and pull up because we have these two tabs that uh, needs to be disengaged. Don't go too far with this front panel. We've got the hose connected to it, so we need to pull it out from the two retainers. All right, I'm going to pull this hose from this one in the two retainers. Now we can tilt it down and lift it up away from the hinges. Now we're going to disconnect these uh, three hoses and pull out this light. Using a pliers, I'm going to squeeze and move up the clamp. And the uh, same thing here. And I'm going to move this wing clamp. I'm going to pull out this uh, light. Okay. Then we're going to disconnect the hoses. We're going to remove this hose from the clamp at the back. And now we're going to pull the hose off. And put it aside out of the way. Now we're going to unscrew this uh, long screw so we can uh, take off the clamp. I'm using a socket wrench with a regular Phillips bead at the end and a pair of pliers. I'm going to jam this nut and we're going to unscrew that. Right, I'm going to see if that would be enough. I'm going to use the flat desk driver and I'm going to see if we can pry it out. I'm going to remove this clamp and put it aside. Next, we're going to remove this old seal. This is the old door boot seal next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. All right, before installing the new seal, I'm going to use the soap and we're going to soap this groove before installing it. Uh, four or five spots. And I'm going to spread it. You can wipe uh, extras off. All right, so this is a new seal and uh, we're going to install it uh, with this arrow facing up is going to be our top point. Take your time. Peel back and install it into the groove. Be patient. Take your time. When you're going to install the upper portion, then it will be easier. It's very important that you're not going to miss any spot. It should go completely on that lip. All right, now we can see that it's installed properly. And uh, we can put this uh, retainer spring now. Goes right in the groove. Again, make sure it's in the groove.
next I'm going to use the uh, this ratchet with the Phillips bead in it and we're going to tighten that seal clamp you may need the pliers see if that uh, nut will turn then we need to grab it with the pliers and then hold it with the pliers because it start turning okay and pull hard you don't want that thing to come off when you assemble the whole thing all right looks like we did a good job here so next we're going to connect the hoses and then we need to install this harness instead of the old light all right uh, I will suggest you put a little bit of soap on uh, each of those three and that would be a little easier to install the hoses and this hose was hidden right here in the corner and it goes on this port here push it in and this one goes on this one and we have the last one Well, then I'm going to use the pliers and we're going to secure the hoses with these clamps and I'll slide them down. Now this is easy. We can do it without pliers. And this one. Now I'm going to place this hose into the clip which is behind here. All right, next we're going to remove these two clips, one's here and one is here, so we can take out the old harness. Using pliers, we're going to squeeze it and push it in. This one we're going to from, go from the side, do the same thing. And we can remove the old harness and the light. We're going to clip on this uh, new harness. That goes right in there. Okay, I'm going to pull out this uh, plug and uh, we're going to install this one retainer and that hole, push it in. And we're going to place it into this retainer. All right. Now we can install the front panel. We're going to put this uh, at the bottom, these slots over the hinges here. Push it down and we're going to bring it up. There's a couple of points. We have a door latch that we need to be careful with. And then we have a hose we need to install into this couple of clips here. And now we can bring it up, make sure that the door switch assembly is not on the way. And then we push it in. Now we're going to secure this uh, front panel to the cabinet with uh, four screws. Uh, it's a Phillips screwdriver at work. You are watching. All right, we're going to tilt the washer back on the box. Be careful, it's heavy. Now I'm going to secure this front panel at the bottom with uh, three screws. I'm using a Phillips screwdriver. Let's place the washer on its feet. Be careful, it's heavy. Support it. And we can take out this uh, box. All right, I'm going to open the door and next we are going to install this uh, door switch assembly. I'm going to fish it out. I'm going to put it 
into these holes all right and uh, we need the uh, need to secure it with uh, three screws it's uh, Phillips screws using a Phillips screwdriver We're going to pull out that uh, door seal out this and we're going to place this edge over the leap and again I'm going to put some soap into the groove. I'm going to start from the top, peel it off and put it over the lip. Continue on. left and right and please don't rush make sure it's seated properly the well-being on your floor depends on your job check if it's in now I'm going to install this clamp onto this groove the spring goes around nine o'clock into the groove and uh, you know place it around and hold it here and here and with my left hand I'm going to stretch the spring hard and I'm gonna place it that into the groove. Make sure it's properly installed and I'm gonna the same test that we did before I'm gonna pull hard on it now I'm gonna close the door and let's pull this hose out and I'm gonna put it into this opening here and I'm gonna slide in the housing and push it in and those clips on the side lock. Then we're going to install this hose into the clip on the top and we can close the door. All right, I'm going to bring the control panel assembly and I'm going to place uh, the bottom clips into these uh, cutouts and we're going to connect the two plugs and then we can install this panel back on. Make sure it's good, not coming apart. Bring it forward, down. All right, now we can install the uh, dispenser housing. We have a uh, slot here and this plastic post goes in and I'm gonna pull it forward and this clip has to go over this metal brace also we need to install the inside lift it up and I'm gonna push it in all right now we're gonna install this two hoses back onto the uh, dispenser housing simply Squeeze it in. And now I'm going to secure the uh, dispenser housing. I have three screws. I'm using a Phillips screwdriver. Now I can install this uh, dispenser drawer. Slide in on the top. And then I'm going to press this uh, lock tab and slide it completely in. Now we're going to install the top back on and place it down a couple of inches away from the control panel. Make sure it's uh, straight and I'm going to slide it forward so the front will lock. Now we're going to secure the top panel to the cabinet with a couple of screws using a Phillips screwdriver. Turn on the water. Plug the washer in and run it to check if it works properly and there's no leaks. 
Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.